Imagine living in a world where a simple cut or scratch could kill you. A world where a cough or a sneeze could lead to an untreatable infection. Fast or slow, but always deadly. Sounds like something out of a dystopian novel, right? Well, this isn't fiction. And it's not even far off. For most of human history, bacterial infections were one of the leading causes of death. Plagues wiped out entire populations, and even minor injuries could lead to deadly infections. But in the 20th century, everything changed when antibiotics arrived. Suddenly, diseases that had haunted humanity for centuries were treatable, even curable. But now, that progress is under threat. A new enemy is emerging, antibiotic resistance, and it could drag us back to the dark ages of medicine. Here's what's happening and why it matters. Bacteria are microscopic organisms, single-celled life forms that live almost everywhere. Some are good for us, like the ones in our gut that help with digestion, while others are harmful. Harmful bacteria can multiply fast, overwhelming healthy tissues and causing infections. Sometimes they release toxins that damage cells. In other cases, they trigger an overreaction from the immune system, which ends up doing more harm than good. Throughout history, bacterial infections have been some of the deadliest threats to humanity. The bubonic plague, caused by Yersinia pestis, killed up to 75 million people in the 14th century. Cholera, caused by Vibrio cholerae, claimed over 40 million lives in the 19th century. Tuberculosis, caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, has killed up to a billion people to date. But everything changed in 1928 when Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin, the first true antibiotic. It was revolutionary. Within a few decades, antibiotics became the go-to weapon against bacterial infections, reducing death rates and making infections much easier to treat. Antibiotics work in two main ways. Bactericidal antibiotics kill bacteria directly by damaging their cell walls. Bacteriostatic antibiotics stop bacteria from multiplying, giving the immune system a chance to clear them out. Sounds perfect, right? Well, not exactly. Fleming himself warned about the risks of antibiotic resistance, and now it's happening on a massive scale. So, what is antibiotic resistance? Antibiotic resistance happens when bacteria evolve and develop defenses against the drugs meant to kill them. Over time, these resistant strains survive and multiply, making antibiotics less effective. Here's how it works. Bacteria naturally mutate over time. When antibiotics are used too often or incorrectly, they kill off the weaker bacteria. The stronger, resistant ones survive and reproduce, spreading their resistance to others. Some bacteria can even pass their resistance genes to other species, making the problem worse. This creates an evolutionary arms race between bacteria and antibiotics. And right now, the bacteria are winning. The rise of antibiotic resistance isn't a small problem. It's already a global crisis. In 2019, 1.27 million people died from antibiotic-resistant infections. An estimated 5 million deaths that year were linked to antibiotic resistance. By 2050, antibiotic-resistant infections could cause up to 10 million deaths per year, more than cancer. In the U.S. alone, antibiotic resistance causes over 35,000 deaths every year and costs the healthcare system over $4.6 billion annually. Diseases like pneumonia, gonorrhea, tuberculosis, and sepsis are becoming harder to treat because the bacteria causing them are evolving faster than we can develop new antibiotics. So, how did we get here? The main causes of antibiotic resistance are surprisingly simple. Overuse and misuse. Antibiotics are often prescribed for viral infections, like colds or the flu, even though they don't work on viruses. Farm use. Livestock are routinely given antibiotics to prevent disease and promote growth, which creates resistant bacteria that can spread to humans. Poor sanitation. In many developing countries, poor hygiene and lack of access to clean water allow bacteria to spread quickly. And global travel. Resistant bacteria can easily hitch a ride across borders, spreading rapidly worldwide. Some of the most dangerous bacteria have already developed near total resistance to antibiotics. E. coli resistant to over 92% of antibiotics that once treated it. Staphylococcus aureus, once treated with penicillin, now resistant to most common antibiotics. 
tuberculosis. Multidrug resistant TB is nearly impossible to cure without a long, complex treatment plan. Even worse, the COVID-19 pandemic made the problem worse. Hospitals used more antibiotics to treat secondary infections, further strengthening resistant strains. But why is it so hard to fix? Pharmaceutical companies are struggling to keep up. Developing a new antibiotic takes around $1.3 billion and over 10 years of research. Many companies avoid antibiotic research because it's high risk and low reward. Even when new antibiotics are developed, resistance can emerge within a few years, making the drugs ineffective again. So what can we do? Scientists and doctors are looking at a few promising solutions. Bacteriophages, viruses that target and kill specific bacteria without harming human cells. Machine learning. AI could predict which antibiotics will work best based on a person's infection history. Improving treatment accuracy. Phage cocktails. Mixing different bacteriophages to target resistant bacteria. Better regulation. Governments are limiting the use of antibiotics in farming and encouraging responsible prescription. Education. Teaching people to finish their full course of antibiotics and not take them for viruses helps slow down resistance. But the fight isn't over. The rise of antibiotic resistance is one of the biggest threats to modern medicine, but there's still hope. Advances in AI are already helping researchers identify new antibiotic compounds faster than ever before. Machine learning models can scan thousands of chemical structures in record time, predicting which ones might be effective against resistant bacteria. Meanwhile, phage therapy, using viruses that infect and kill bacteria, is showing promise in treating infections that no antibiotics can touch. In fact, scientists have already saved lives using custom phage treatments where antibiotics failed. On top of that, better regulation and stricter guidelines for antibiotic use in both human medicine and agriculture are starting to curb overuse and misuse, which are major drivers of resistance. Some hospitals are now using AI to monitor antibiotic prescriptions in real time, ensuring that the right drug is used for the right infection, and only when truly necessary. But it's going to take more than just science to win this battle. Global cooperation is essential. Resistant bacteria don't care about borders. An outbreak in one country can quickly become a global crisis. That's why countries need to work together to share data, track resistant strains, and develop coordinated responses. Public awareness and education are also crucial. Understanding when antibiotics are necessary and when they're not can prevent misuse at the individual level. The bacteria are evolving. Now it's our turn. If you found this video interesting, give it a like and subscribe for more fascinating and sometimes scary content. Have you ever experienced an antibiotic resistant infection or know someone who has? Share your story in the comments. Your experience could help others. Check out our merch for some awesome designs. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit the super thanks button. Every bit helps us keep this content going. Stay safe, stay informed, and see you next time.